Hello all, welcome to this session. In this session, I am going to answer one of the Selenium interview questions. That is, using Selenium ID, is it possible to get data from a particular HTML table cell? Let me answer. Yes, it is possible to get data from a particular HTML table cell using Selenium ID. Let me practically demonstrate that for you. For that, I'll open this browser and open one sample application URL. And uh, I'll copy this URL and I'll open the Selenium ID. Create a new project. I'll just give some sample name and I'll start the recording. I'll give the application URL that I would like to automate. Start recording and I'll expand this, maximize this. And uh, if I scroll down here, I can see a table here. I would like to get this data, okay? For now, for sample, I'll just do something like this. And I'll say stop recording. I'll give the name, test one and say, okay. Here I'll delete this particular step. I don't want this step. So I'll write the steps manually after opening the application URL, after maximizing the browser window, then what I would like to do, I would like to retrieve this 29, okay? I would like to uh, get data from a particular HTML table cell. What is the data I'm choosing here in this example? This 29 is the data I would like to retrieve, okay? So how to do that? So for that, I'll inspect uh, this table. And uh, I can see there's an ID for this table. Copy this ID. Say control F double slash table at the rate ID is equal to give that ID attribute value. And under the, under the table, we have uh, T head, T body. Under the T body, we have one, two, three. I'll simply say double slash tr of three and slash td of two. You see 29 is getting highlighted here, right? When I hover the mouse, this xpath expression is locating this part and this is nothing but this 29, okay? So using this xpath expression, we are able to locate this uh, particular cell in the table. Copy this. Now, what I'm going to do here is, uh, here I'll simply say store text. I'll say xpath is equal to give that xpath expression. Okay, store text here, create a variable. Let's say this is uh, age, right? Uh, age, okay. Some variable name age I am giving. Now, so what's happening in this step is, this particular step is accessing this particular cell containing the value 29 and storing that 29 into this age. Okay, that's what is happening. Storing the text in this particular cell of the table into the age. Now I would like to print the value that is stored in this uh, age variable. For that, I can use echo command, echo, and here I have to mention dollar curly braces. Inside that curly braces, you have to mention the variable name that you want to print the value from age. That's it. Now run this script. What will happen? The value 29 will be printed in this output of this uh, Selenium ID. Okay. Here in the Selenium ID, you will see 29 will get printed after running this script. Okay. Run this. It's running the script. You see, after this step got run, in the output we got 29 got printed. So this proves that this proves that we will be able to, and it is possible to get the data from a particular HTML table. Set, okay. So the answer is yes. I proved it. Okay. Practically, I proved it by writing this script. We can, okay. We can get the data from a particular HTML table cell in Selenium ID, and for that, this is one example. So hope guys, you got the answer for this question. So that's all for this session. Thank you. Bye bye.